Um, hello? Why isn't Valentina Shevchenko the main event? I don't know why. Um, Figueroa versus Perez, do they really have more of like a fan base and energy behind them? I feel like Valentina, well, maybe because it's Jennifer Maya, right? And a lot of people don't know Jennifer Maya. Um, cause I feel like Valentina Shevchenko, she's a bigger name than Figueroa. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, all right. So Lauren Murphy, I don't know if you guys saw her press conference, but this girl with the sass. Okay. Um, I was like totally behind her on this. I was like, yes, yes, you got it. Because I was thinking she's right about everything she said. She had all her receipts. She was like, this girl didn't make weight. I beat this girl and, and, and this girl only fought, um, like this many times. And she was just saying everything that made sense. And I was just like, you know what? They are overlooking you, you know, not to be like playing like the victim card of like, Oh, poor girl. Like, listen, they are overlooking you. The rankings don't make sense. Jessica Andrade should be next for the, for the, freaking title not jennifer maya and you know what she has some balls to be like <laughs> jennifer maya take her out put jessica in after they fight then it's me next that's what's fair and i was just thinking you know what that is fair but um you know what makes it even more juicier and more interesting is if jennifer maya does get taken out <laughs> jessica andrage goes in her place but then Dana White puts Jennifer Maya versus Lauren Murphy because I'm pretty sure Jennifer Maya is going to want to get her hands on Lauren Murphy after literally taking away her opportunity. She's going to be like, you took away my title shot with your big mouth. You know, now I'm going to finish you in the octagon like that. That to me, like if I was like the matchmakers, I would make that I would make that happen because that, you know, that's causing a lot of things to be stirred up and like, you know, Lauren Murphy, she's not as well known um, as like a Valentina or Jessica Andrade and Jennifer Maya is in that same boat as Lauren Murphy. They're not as well known, right? But if they can somehow create a beef with one another and like Dana White actually does take Jennifer Maya out of it per, you know, what Lauren said, then that's going to create so much hostility and that's going to be great for business, you know? So, um, Lauren Murphy, right? She, she beat someone that it was her debut that no one really knew about. So you got to kind of like get off your high horse here. Okay. Like relax. You got a good win. It was a submission win, but it's not like you beat like, you know, at least Jennifer, not Jennifer, Jessica Andrade beat Caitlin Jukagian, right? Caitlin, Caitlin Jukagian is, a ranked opponent. She's been in the game. You know, she had her title shot. She lost. She beat Valentina Shevchenko's sister and Tonina. You know, she has stuff going on, you know, like this other girl, it was her debut, you know? So for her to say like, just, all right, I beat this girl. Give me a title shot. Like, no, if anything, this is my take. I think maybe Jessica, and this is realistic, right? Cause I, I have a feeling Jennifer Maya is going to fight Valentina, but she's going to lose. It's like guaranteed. It's like a lock. It's like a lock, you know, she's going to lose. Um, <laughs> so, so Jennifer, Jennifer Maya is going to lose to Valentina. Then we have Jessica Andrade who can fight Lauren Murphy. That's a good fight. You know, that needs to happen. Right. And then whoever, whoever wins that fight is next up has dibs on Valentina Shevchenko. Okay. Um, but like if Dana White would have the balls to like remove Jennifer Maya and be like, you know what, Lauren Murphy's right. You don't deserve this title shot. You miss weight. You did all that. And listen, I'm not trying to throw shade at Jennifer Maya. I'm just telling it how it is. You know, I'm sure she's a great person. I have nothing against her. She's a great fighter. She could probably beat my butt, but I'm just saying this makes sense to have Jennifer just out and then Jessica Andrade in, or, you know, Lauren Murphy, somewhere in the mix. They, it, she seems more deserving of it. She really does. Because, yeah, Jennifer Maya, she beat Joanne Cal JoJo, right? Joanne Calderwood, she beat her. And Joanne Calderwood was next. So it made sense, right? Like, if, if I beat you, then I'm taking your title shot. It all made sense. It all made sense. I'm just saying, from a business perspective, I don't know how many people see, you know, it, that that even Jennifer Maya is going to challenge Valentina. Do you honestly think that Jennifer Maya is going to be 
a threat to Valentina? Let me know in the comments because I would be surprised. She's not going to challenge her. There's, there's nothing. Like, she's going to beat her. She's going to beat her. It's, it's, I will be shocked. I will be shocked. I will be so surprised. And you know what? I hope she does it because that's what I love about MMA. It's unpredictable. You know what? If it happens, that's beautiful because that's what I like, but I don't think it's going to happen. And you know, you want to see fairness in life. You want to see fairness um, in, in like UFC because you know, you have empathy. I have empathy and I, I want to feel, I want to feel like people are getting, you know, what they deserve. And like, you know, if they have um, opportunities like taken from them or they feel like they're getting the short end of the stick or whatever, like that's not good, you know? So like, obviously Lauren Murphy, if you didn't see the press conference, watch it because she put a lot of uh, her frustration out saying, you know, that she's just overlooked and she's just sick of it and she wants to get her recognition. So let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Thanks.